It's been some time since I've done a live trade in this channel, so I'm gonna go through a live trade I've taken on the Audi Japanese Yen pair on a 30 minute entry. Now keep watching the video to later on find exactly how, why I took this trade. Now if you're interested in learning more of these techniques yourself, inside the weekly group analysis, we go through different pairs each week to help you to learn to trade any pair in the market. So then you can actually apply this to all market conditions, all markets, and to start allowing you to have a skill for life. Previous week's analysis, going through this Audi Japanese Yen pair, you can see this was posted on the 15th of November. I was looking for price to pull back here to an era of imbalance. You can see again, we were showing where the market was going to go. It bounced off, gave us a nice rally up on a 30 minute time frame. Now after this, it's gonna leave an era of demand where we're waiting for the market to come back for another trade. So what I'm gonna do first, go through the top down analysis that I would use for this trade. Now for this setup, I've used the weekly, the four hour and the 30 minute time frame. Let's go to the weekly chart first. Now on the weekly time frame, the first thing I'm gonna look for is that trend direction. Now looking at the overall market, we can see it's in a bullish trend. And even if we track current price, can identify we're making higher lows and higher highs in the market. So we know we're breaking structures to the upside, and we're bouncing off areas of demand and areas here of imbalance. Now, all of this you can learn more inside this channel. There is plenty of videos that goes through understanding balance trading and the use of supply and demand. This video is to share with you how I actually take my own trade so you can follow along and see the same process that I use. Now the main thing on this part, we can see we had a break of structure from this low. And when we left this area of imbalance, we bounced off, broke structure, and we continue to go higher. Now currently I'm looking for price to continue up from this area. Now the next thing I would do on this time frame is look to the left to see what we have to the left on this market. Now we had a previous high here. We can see the market wicked through and we fell away. Now we also have an area of imbalance above as well, where price has come into, and that's what's caused this reversal in the market. Understanding that price went above a previous high to take those stops, pick up orders inside, hidden block orders inside this area of imbalance. That's what's caused this push down. Now, could we see a continuation to the downside? Absolutely. Now we have an area here of imbalance, which has now been filled. And the market is holding below this area of imbalance, but we can now see a higher low formed and a continuation to the upside. We're bouncing off lower time frame areas here of demand, which you'll see as we go through these charts. So that is the weekly time frame. I'm currently bullish on this market until we can actually remove this previous low here in the market. Then I'm in bearish bias on the weekly time frame. So the next time frame I'll look at now will be that four hour time frame. We go over to the four hour time frame and you'll be able to see that I'll do the same thing once again. Now the first thing I want to show you is that when I go to the four hour time frame, this is my setup time frame before my entry. Now the first thing I'm gonna look at is where is the current trading range. Now the current trading range is gonna be from where price currently is, looking for that low in the market. And there is a video in this channel on the trading range and for the current high. So I'm trading within this area. Now currently price, as you can see, looks quite a mess on the chart. But for me, this is great time to look for a trade because we're gonna find those manipulations and those areas where the stops are gonna be run all over and perfect entries for you to take. Now, as price goes up, I'm expecting price to take previous highs. As we can see, it takes this high. Then we're looking for this high here in the market to be taken next. After that, we have this high in the market and then eventually I have an area of imbalance here. I'm expecting price to wanna to fill. Now that does mean we have a nice area here of supply after we had a nice manipulation above this high with a nice wick up which went into the area of imbalance we saw in the weekly time frame. So yes, we could see a push up here and then a continuation down. But we have all this space to the upside at the moment to trade to the upside to look for those potential buys. So how do I look for a trade now on the four hour time frame? Again, we do the same thing. I've marked out my trading range. I know I'm currently looking for the market to go higher with the weekly time frame and even this four hour time frame. Why? Well, we have now looking at this four hour time frame, we have this move down, we had a manipulation, this low, wick through, 
We then had a break of structure here. Retest, another break of structure. The market has been going higher. Now we left this era of imbalance here in the market, where we can see the markets come in, bounced off, continued up, and then we broke structure once again. Now all of this area here is nothing but a manipulation area. Now what I mean by that, we have a couple of lows or three lows in the market here. And if we look above price, getting this wick at the moment, we have a couple of wicks here in the market. We can see that this wick, this high, this high. This is creating areas of liquidity where the market's gonna likely go. Now you can see what's why the market's pushed down into this area of imbalance and this area of demand. Now we can also identify that we had an area of demand here where the market bounced off. And then we had another area of demand that I'm going to probably draw like this here. So this is what I call a tested zone. We've gone deeper in, rallied out, and that leaves me a new area of demand. So on a four hour demand zone, we've come back in, retested, looking for market to continue higher. Now for my targets, I'll be looking for the market just to take this area here of imbalance to fill it, then looking for these highs here to be taken. So this high in the market, where the liquidity sits, is where we're looking for the market to go up to. First target is based on a 30 minute entry. And these are my last two targets based on a four hour. Now let's pop over to the entry time frame. It's a 30 minute chart. Now when we see price pulling into this area, bounces away, pulls back, you can identify over here to the left, once again, we had another era of imbalance. The market's come into this imbalance, tested once, twice. Now what we're looking for here is when the market comes down, we create, and actually let's go quickly back to a four hour, and you'll be able to identify when we broke up and broke this area here in the market, we also left this area of imbalance on the four hour. The markets took this low, gone into this imbalance, rallied up, and that's what we're looking at. Now, once we've come into this first area, we're looking for the reversal. Now, the reversal happens on the break of this structure here. They remove this four hour zone. You can see we test to the 50% area of this imbalance, we rally out, this now leaves a new area of demand. The markets then pull back into that demand zone, and this was the end of last week. Now I don't personally trade at the end of a Friday and leave my trades at the weekend. So I knew this was a good opportunity to look for a manipulation of the low, which we get this morning. We make a new higher low, and then right there we create this bullish candle which closes back up, moves, let me just go closer in. Now this is where we use what I call a reversal pattern. Marking off this candlestick here shows me this is a reversal. Now there is a video that goes through this pattern and I do suggest watching that at the end of this video. Now you can see here we also then create an area of imbalance where the market pulls back in and we rally away. And a first target, if I was trading on this time frame, you've got this level here, which is removed. Then you've got the previous high. And then we've got this level which sits here. That's just trading the 30 minute time frame. Now all of this you can learn much more inside the Forex Masterclass course. There is plenty of information on this channel as well. And there's the free course you can grab right now, the online workshop. Now the links to everything are below in the description of this video. But this to show you this trade review exactly what I was looking for. Now you can also identify here that we break structure after this bullish candle goes up. Now what do you find here? Once we see this push up, we have an area of demand. Okay, the market pulls back in, one test and we continue up. There's a continuation entry. This is where we see the break of structure, understanding the drop base drop. Now you can learn about the drop base drop and the rally base rally zones inside that free online workshop. So there's my entry. That's how I've tracked and gone through price. Remember, I'm looking at the four hour for my overall range, where price is gonna go. 30 minute was my entry and the weekly time frame is to give me an overall direction. 
So that's how I trade. Okay, now let's quickly pop back to the MT4 platform where I've taken that trade. So again, on the MT4, there is an area of previous demand. After we saw the break of structure, we pulled back in, manipulation, and there is the close up on this candle limit entry. Now, first target, I took off of this high right here. This is the target that I wanted to basically get out of the trade to make it risk free straight away for me. The understanding of a good money management is what's going to help you going forward in your trading. Now you can see I've got a couple of targets based on my four hour time frame. Now, if you've enjoyed this video today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up because it helps me know if you want to see more of this type of content on live trades, walking through how I've taken those trades. And remember I said through this video, Coming up right now is the video that goes through that reversal pattern, which will help you to find trades like I'm taking on this pair. So check that video out right now.